How do cells maintain homeostasis? Homeostasis is made possible by the cell membrane or plasma membrane. The membrane of the cell acts as a barrier that separates the inside of the cell from the outside of the cell. The membrane is selectively permeable. In this way, the cell membrane regulates what comes into the cell and what goes out of the cell. Substances that are allowed to freely cross the cell membrane include small uncharged molecules like oxygen, carbon dioxide, water, and ethyl alcohol. Also, lipid soluble molecules such as glycerol can freely move across the plasma membrane. Substances that cannot readily cross the cell membrane include larger molecules such as amino acids, simple sugars, and charged ions like sodium, potassium, and chloride. The cell membrane is selectively permeable due to its structure. The cell membrane is made up of a phospholipid bilayer. Phospholipids contain a phosphate group attached to two fatty acid tails. Let's see why this is so important. A phospholipid is made up of a hydrophilic head group. Hydrophilic means water lover. And it has two hydrophobic fatty acid tails. Hydrophobic means water fearing. The hydrophilic heads face the extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid. The hydrophobic fatty acid tails face inward towards each other. They face away from the liquid because they are hydrophobic, thus creating a barrier. The phospholipids are not tightly held to one another like our skin cells are. The phospholipids do allow for some mobility of the embedded structures due to its somewhat fluid nature. This is referred to as the fluid mosaic model of the cell membrane. Think about a tub full of rubber duckies. The rubber duckies float on top of the water in a mono layer. Now put a baby in the tub. The duckies gently float out of the way. The baby can freely move around the tub and the duckies will move out of the way to allow for that movement. This is kind of how the proteins and other molecules embedded in the cell membrane are. Thank you for watching. 